Welcome back everyone to a new episode and developing desktop applications for macOS Windows and Linux with Blazor and Elkitron.net. Today we will talk about notifications, but before we proceed, make sure to hit that like and the subscribe button to support AK Academy for more courses and videos. Okay, to get started, I will go for pages and to create a new component, I will call it notifications demo.razor like that let's define the router of this page slash notifications right now let's define the title and that will create a button show notification like that and code okay Define the code section and I will create a function called show notification. Great. Now let's call this function from when we click the on this button. Okay, show notification. Like that. Okay, there is an equal here. Okay, perfect. Now to show a native notification on the operating system that being shown here we have first to create an option objects and define all the required options for uh, that notification so let's get started options equals new notification options as you can see here and in the constructor by default it takes two uh, required parameters which is the title and body so the title hi from laser and Elkitron okay and the body this is a notification sent from desktop app with blazer like that okay good and here we have another set of properties so like the sound the subtitle the icon on a click action or on close okay all of this parameters and for now I will use icon if we go here to www root I have icon.png which is just basically the a blazer icon but to call this icon you have to define the full uh, pass of the file so to do this first we have to get this uh, the path of the folder of the project then www root and then icon.png so to do so I will use system.io dot directory dot get current directory like this so in this case this brings the path of this directory okay so after that we use slash www root slash icon dot png and in this case we can define an icon and another thing I'm going to define is on a click what's gonna happen when we click on this notification and it's basically just an action delegate so we can define a lambda expression but with async like that and here I will type await elkitron dot dialog elkitron okay yeah dot dialog dot show message box async and here I am going to pass message box takes okay sorry for this takes a uh, message box options okay we haven't mentioned this in the dialog section so let's send a message box option object okay in the constructor of this object it takes a parameter okay the notification has been clicked like that and let's also define set of options for the message box and this way you can customize the message box sorry for not mentioning this in the in the dialog video okay so you can define the detail the icon the message whatever the title okay I'll define also the icon 
in the same way okay but to do this i prefer to put the string icon here and let's copy this paste it here then icon equals icon and the icon here is also the same and title equals to message box customized message box okay that's great special thanks for Sammy Alan our friend for mentioning that how to customize a message box with Elkitron it's pretty simple you can just set all the required properties to doing so and you are just ready to go okay that's perfect in this case okay what we have here is okay sorry to close it from here and okay so here we go we have defined the notification options the title the body the icon and what's gonna happen when we click on that notification the last step is to push okay then notification so we can basically use electron dot notification dot show and let's pass the options and that's everything we need to show a notification here so let's go right now to the shared nav menu and set a link for the notifications page here we go notifications okay that's great everything's ready now let's move back to the terminal and I will call .NET build and I'll get run eyes start so here we go this is our application let's go to the notifications page and click on show notification and here we go this is a native windows notification pop-ups from the operating system let's click on it and here we go also as well we have a message box but this time it's customized we have the icon title and the body here we have okay and also you can do the notification with the message box to return a result like you can set the buttons okay cancel or yes no cancel from the action properties so that was everything for this session thank you so much for watching we have mentioned how to create notifications that uh, pushes from the operating system and also how to customize the message box as well because we haven't mentioned that in the dialogue section thank you so much again and don't forget to support us with a like and subscribe thank you and see you in the next video